Yo, we're family now. You ratted me out the bow. You can rat me out the wrong all you want. You can't rat me out the bow. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be working back on the blazer. I think I'm going to call it Gunny. I'm not sure. If y'all have any other ideas for a name for the truck, let me know. Um, something military based would be cool. Um, today, just doing maintenance stuff that I've found since we got started. The valve cover gasket on the right side is leaking for sure after I let it sit at night. Um, I had a problem the only about the only issue mechanically was that the 12 volt alternator was not charging this is your 12 volt alternator on these old six twos um, I was only getting what the battery was putting out right here so it tells me it wasn't charging lo and behold this connector right here is all kinds of melted I mean just junk so hopefully this is just my problem and hopefully the alternator is not bad the belt was a little loose tighten that up no big deal there um this is your 25 or 20 sorry 24 volt alternator right here i was getting 25.5 or so out of this so i'm thinking it's okay um if you haven't i've already said this in the last video but if you don't know the K5 Blazers, uh, which was the M1009 and the M1008, which is the three quarter ton pickups, have two batteries, two regular batteries, two 12 volt batteries, and they run them together to get 24 volts. The starter runs off 24 volts, and this connector up here that you can jump other vehicles off, like military vehicles, tanks, deuce and a half, stuff like that, ECT. Um, that's what I've been told. Uh, if y'all know anything else, I'm new at this this particular military blazer. If you um, know of more stuff that jumps off, let me know. I've also been heard. I've also heard that they put them in line. In other words, put a truck in front of a truck in front of a truck and hook them up in a in a row in line, and then have a generator at one side so they could sit there with the vehicles off heating up all the vehicles with you know without the engine running again that's just what i heard i don't know for sure um but anyways starters 24 volt that connector up front is 24 volt the vehicle itself everything else on the vehicle headlights everything in the cab is 12 volt now your junction up here i believe goes back into the cab all the way back here and has a junction right there i haven't checked for sure but i'm pretty sure it is 24 volt i'm going to figure that out today after messing with this alternator making it trying to get a charge so plan today is alternator charging valve cover gasket fix i also have a transmission leak that i'm gonna try and fix and then hopefully we can actually take this on the road for the first time today or should i say the county roads i don't have this thing in my name just yet but neither here nor there um and that's it i'll just work on this connector for now and pray to god this alternator is not out because who knows what it cost it may be cheap maybe expensive i didn't even look but all right guys and if you were wondering the part number to that connector is this right here i got it from napa and uh yeah it looks just like that also a little tech tip for splicing wires this little jewel right here from vice grip i got it at lowe's you can see the teeth right there it is absolutely amazing whenever you want to strip wires and i'm doing it upside down doesn't work as good but see it's that easy that easy 
I highly, highly recommend it. You can adjust it and all that good stuff on how much you want off. If you want, but I usually just eyeball it and let it roll. But I am going to be soldering this on to there. Red, red, white, uh, gray, black, whatever that color is. It's like grayish, brownish color. And hopefully this works. Connector soldered on. Done. Now, another tech tip that I found while working at GM. Not so much on these older vehicles but newer vehicles the con i would dye electric grease especially if you got an off-road vehicle use this right here dye electric grease one thing is that does suck is this stuff is expensive i think this whole tube i want to say is like 20 something bucks i mean this is a big tube i have been using it in a while but I fixed a many, many, many of GM electrical problems or any kind of vehicle, but especially newer vehicles that's not getting a good, you know, contact. Use this stuff right in. Just take it. Hold that camera. I'll hold the camera. Just lap that on like so. And that's it and connect it but stuff helps a bunch and it helps if you're off-road and four-wheeler whatever anything underwater it helps keep moisture out keep it from resting all that good stuff so tech tip for the day if i can get it connected all right so we replaced the connector on the 12 volt side and it's still not working <laughs> so i come over here and start investigating on this alternator and lo and behold same problem so got another connector for here gonna solder this on hopefully this will get me working i don't i'm still learning this 24 slash 12 volt system um i do know that this 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 post right here has got 24 volts coming out of it in it out of it whatever you want to say right now this alternator is not charging it nor is that one and then down in there as you can see there is another post right there and it has 12 volts to it so i don't know if it's sending 12 volts back to that alternator i'm going to look in the schematics i will let you know um but i'm going to change this and see this alternator from what i read is supposed to be putting out roughly 12 29.5 volts the obviously the 12 volt alternator is supposed to be putting around 14.4 14.5 ish somewhere around in there um this one is not it's just sitting there at 25 which is what the batteries are and that one over there is sitting at 12.2 which is what the battery is um so hopefully I'm just praying the alternators ain't bad because I really don't want to pull them and I really don't want to buy new ones, but it is what it is. Um, place this connector and, and then after that, I'm gonna look up the wiring diagram and see where all this is going. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, well, we finally figured out the charging issue. Luckily, the alternators are working uh for some reason the guy before kevin that i bought it from the power wire that comes off of this alternator right here goes all the way up into the main block right here which has 12.2 12.4 volts whatever you want to call it goes up to there it was completely just off why i don't know maybe we'll find out after we get to driving and may have an issue uh but that was off same on the other alternator that over the to the 24 volt up there it's completely off um i checked all the wiring this wire right here goes up into your dash goes up and shows the cluster that the alternator is working 
Uh, this is your ground on your 12 volt side. This is your power on your 12 volt side. Um, this this 12 volt side goes all the way up into here, and that's what gives power. Uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't give power. It charges, goes back to the alternator, charges it. And 24 volt side, like I said, this wire right here, which is a tells the alternator to kick on to charge was not connected over there actually the ring terminal broke so i don't know if it just broke or he took it off or what i don't know but regardless alternators are charging now after hours of looking at schematics okay after just a quick diagnosis after a quick diagnosis it took us 15 seconds to, to fix this thing Looked at it, knew exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah, I looked at it, and I knew exactly what it was. Yo, we're family now. You ratted me out the bow. You ratted me out the rod to y'all you want. You can't rat me out the bow. <laughs> Breaking my new toy. <laughs> I said we broke a bow when Sammy popped off. No, Anthony broke a bow. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Good as Trying to fix the lights. Anthony shows up, breaks the bulb. <laughs> Where's it at? It's out back. Get on nice and deep. That's nice dirty, bro. He's just getting the light bulb in there all nice and deep. Yeah, that's not what we were talking about. Alright. Check the light. Wiggle them hard. No. You see right in there. What? Nope. Brown? No, it's this one. Damn, I didn't realize how bright these lights were. I get hot. Yeah, it's this one. It looks like it's right there at the base, too. Well, as you can see, we're fighting light bulb issues on this old truck. So, checking bulbs, sockets, all that good stuff. Anthony's breaking stuff. Ain't that right? I didn't give you rights to say my name on camera. Ain't that right? I didn't break nothing. I just fixed it. You see that bulb in there? Yeah. That was Anthony. <laughs> <laughs>